Travis with Fat Daddy's here. I just got back from the Mopar Nationals in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and I want to show you guys my loot. As I was saying, the other week I headed up to Carlisle, Pennsylvania to the Mopar Nationals, and I had a list of things I was looking for, and fortunately I found just about everything I was looking for, so I'm pretty excited about that, and I just wanted to show it off to you guys. Uh, if you've never been to one of the big car shows, or especially up in Carlisle, uh, they have shows for all makes and models, and while there's amazing, beautiful show cars and rare cars and all kinds of cars to see, my favorite thing is wandering up and down the aisles of the swap meet looking for the little piece here or there that you may or may not need for your projects, like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt. So anyways, let's get started with some of the stuff I got. I got this uh, air conditioning, heat and air conditioning control bezel. Uh, they don't reproduce these to my knowledge. The one that's in this car, someone has painted the lower part of the dash all black there under the gauges and they painted this whole thing black and looking at it be super difficult to get in there and you know nicely make the letters all white again and all in the one I have and this one is like beautiful shape only gave 20 bucks for it so you know even if it is reproduced that I haven't found you aren't gonna get it for 20 bucks so really stoked about that also, for the heat and air conditioning, we've got the fan resistor, and uh, the one that was in the car was the wrong one. It was just for a, for a heater box, so this is the correct one for heat and air conditioning, and I paid uh, 10 bucks, I believe, for that. I looked, I looked high and low for this thing, and I was asking everyone about it, and nobody had one. And I stopped at this tent that a whole table just full of trinkets and nuts and screws and just stuff laying on it. And the thing that caught my eye is this vacuum tee here, which uh, you can use that here for picking up the vacuum for the heater controls. And this go right there on the back of the motor. Saw this sitting there, had $5 sticker on it. Can't beat that. And while I was waiting to ask, or I was waiting in line to, you know, to purchase this, uh, there was an, another guy ahead of me. I just kind of stand there looking around on the table, and I was actually going to ask about one of these. And literally laying right beside this was this resistor, and it had a piece of tape stuck over it that said 10 bucks, and that was kind of masking what it was. So yeah, super lucky there. That that's really is part of the fun whenever you find that piece you've been looking for all day long. I've got, um, I picked up this old AC harness from, uh, it says 7071 Dart. Um, I don't have the AC harness, harness for in this car. I wasn't sure if they reproduced that harness. I think I found that they have. But regardless, I've got all the plugs for it looks like I've got pretty all the, much all the plugs I need for this one if I just want to build my own harness out of that rather than buy a new one. Uh, I've got these front and rear side marker lights. These are uh, they're Mopar and they're made. Uh, these are this one was made in uh, June of '03. So does that? Does that count as new old stock? I mean, it's not old, old, but it's kind of old. It's made by Mopar. Made in the USA, it says. So, yeah, not really new old stock, but kind of new old stock. I got all four of those for uh, about 90 bucks. They were asking 125 and they took 90 I got myself a Mopar hat. It's a little dirty already because I've been wearing it out working when I probably shouldn't be. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. Probably one of the best things I got is the chassis service manual and body service manual. Original 
manuals for Dodge for this car. And I'm telling you, they have these online. You can get, uh, uh, you can download a PDF of this for free. But honestly, when you're digging through that book and you're looking for that piece of information you need or whatever, and you're out here in the shop, I'd much rather pull out this book and be able to find exactly what I need, see it right there on the page. It's just, it's just way better than sitting in the office on the computer or having help you on your phone trying to zoom in. But being on your computer, trying to scroll through, how many pages is that thing? Hundreds of pages. Trying to scroll through that to find that one little piece of information you need. Definitely real good uh, deal needs. I paid 25 bucks for each, each book. And I don't think I wasted a penny there. So that's, uh, that's about it for all, the, all my loot that I picked up at the, the Mopar Nationals. Really excited about it. I'm excited to get the stuff installed on the car. And uh, just wanted to share it with you guys. As usual, the, uh, at the end of every video, the whole like, subscribe, notifications, and all that. And please, let's hear some comments. Let's hear things you might have picked up at uh, swap meets or whatever that you've been looking for. Uh, check back. Got more content coming. Thanks.